Hi everyone and welcome to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, your senior trainer here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic will be how to reuse your AutoCAD 2D detail library in your Revit project. You would think that you would have to redo all your CAD details in Revit, but that is not the case. This workflow will allow you to reuse your existing AutoCAD 2D detail library. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. In this particular demonstration, we will be cutting a section right through this garage here. Okay, we've already pre-cut a standard Revit section, which is being cut right through here. Okay, and that section is this one right here. As you can see, it's a bit spartan, very uh, low detail in it, even though we do have it as the detail uh, level at fine. So is there a way for us to improve this? Yes, there is, by going to the annotate detail section and you can embellish your details as much as you want. But we also have a huge investment in our AutoCAD details. And can we then take those AutoCAD details and then input them into our project and have them be a permanent part of our project? And on top of that, can we then modify the detail if need be in AutoCAD? The answer to all of this is yes, and the workflow is this. First thing that we need to do, let's take a look at the AutoCAD detail, which is right here. This is the section that we want to be using for this. Okay, so going back to Revit, this is the section that was cut by Revit. You can, as you can tell, there is really not a lot of information here. It still has to be annotated, etc., etc. So we shall begin. First thing we need to do is we need to go to View. And in view, we need to go to drafting views. In drafting views, we go ahead and call this one typical wall section. And we'll say OK to that. Very well. And it takes us directly into the new drafting view, which is right here added to our little uh, project browser right down here drafting view very well now that we're here we will go over to the insert tab and in the insert tab we could go to the import CAD but then we would lose that ability to change it in CAD and then have it reflected here in Revit okay very much like an external reference and then that means that we can actually use do an external references by instead of going to the import we go to the link right here and we go to the CAD item here Okay, the section that we're looking for is this one right here, and we'll go ahead and say that we want the colors to come in not inverted and not preserved. We want them to be black and white. Okay, the li layers that you want to come in, I will specify. I can use all or visible only. I will specify the ones I want. The input units, import units rather, are going to be auto detected. In this particular case, they are uh, um, architectural, imperial. And the position is origin to uh, internal origin, okay? Let's go ahead and say open here. And we will choose the layers that we want. We don't want layer zero, okay? We can choose whatever else we want. Let's say def points. And let's say okay. At this point, as you can tell, this is my section from AutoCAD. Very nicely detailed. All of my uh, arrows are coming in exactly the way I want them. Okay, you will also notice that it's pinned, okay? In order to change anything in here, you have to unpin it. I highly advise it uh, against it because we actually prefer to do it this way. If we come over here to the AutoCAD here, and we can then go ahead and add something to this particular uh, detail section. Let's go ahead and add a little uh, annotation. Let's go ahead and copy this one here, down to here, and this is going to be updated today. Okay, just for the sake of argument, we'll go ahead and say save it first, obviously. We will come back over here to Revit, and in Revit, what we do is we come once again to the Insert tab. In the Insert tab, we go to the Manage Links in the Link panel, Link panel, Manage Links. We go to the CAD format, we see that the CAD format has one drawing loaded. We say reload the drawing, and we say OK. And as you can see, we should see a the update. Let me just see where it was. Uh, here it is. 
updated today. So as you can see, everything is updated just like an external reference. Let's go ahead and erase this just to prove the point again. Save it first. Come back here. Let's go to the Manage Links, CAD Format, and let's move it over. Let's go ahead and say Reload it, and say OK, and boop, there it is. As you can see, it is quite easy to reuse your AutoCAD 2D detail library in this way, increasing your productivity in Revit. Very well, now that we have our wall section in, let's go ahead and have one of our new wall sections reference this new one that we just brought in, that is native. So we do that by going back to our top of footing, okay, uh, view, and then we go to the section. Now, before we invoke the section, what we do is we turn on the reference other view, open that up. This is the view, drafting view that we had used earlier, so this is the one that we want to use. And let's go ahead and place our head, place our section, go ahead and move it over if you want to, just to position it better. Okay, if you want to flip it, you can flip it any way you want, like this. Okay, and if you want to go to the section, which is the brand new one that we just brought in, all you have to do is double click on the edge here and takes you directly to the wall section that we brought in from AutoCAD. Very well, with that we see how not only we can bring in our AutoCAD details that we have in our detail library, but we can also then have our sections reference these particular details that were brought in. I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been Jim Cuervo for Digital Drafting Systems saying have a great day, stay safe, thank you for watching. Till the next one.